What's up guys, Jacob Obert here. In this video, we're going to be talking about Mike McCarthy and whether or not it might be time for the Packers to move on from McCarthy after this season or during the season or maybe if at all. So this is, a, this is a question that I've been pondering for a while now. Is it time for the Packers to actually let go of McCarthy? I've been kind of on the ropes about this, but this beginning of the season has got me leaning towards it might be time for Mike McCarthy to go. This team in this first part of the season has been inconsistent, to say the least. And really, for the past few years, it's been that way for the Green Bay Packers. They've been inconsistent. And the big story is, I mean, everyone knows that, that this at this point. They rely on Aaron Rodgers to do pretty much everything. And to me, when you rely on one player to do everything for your team and literally pull magic out of the air to win you football games, there's something wrong. Now, don't get me wrong, the magic of Aaron Rodgers has provided some of the greatest sports moments that I have ever seen in my life. But when you want to talk about that versus winning championships, I'll take the championships. Because, I mean, the, the team around Aaron Rodgers, I mean, I feel like the Packers actually have a pretty good team this year. I think the receivers are pretty good, even though they're banged up right now. I think the offensive line is good. I think they have a solid running game if they would run Aaron Jones for crying out loud. And the defense is coming along. Mike Pettin is definitely a lot better than Dom Capers ever was. He knows how to make adjustments. And yet, I see some of the same things. I see the Packers coming into game games unprepared. I see them playing sluggishly. I see them dropping passes. I see Aaron Rodgers running for his life like I always do. And I see terrible play calling from Mike McCarthy. If you remember in the Buffalo game, there was a 3rd and 11 early in the game. And the Packers were on the Buffalo side of the field. And Mike McCarthy ran a draw play with Aaron Rodgers as a quarterback. That that didn't happen even back in 20, 2013, 2014, 2012. That didn't happen back then. Back then, when you got in a third and long, it was actually kind of exciting. Because you see, okay, Aaron Rodgers is going to have a chance to go deep here. Aaron Rodgers is going to have a chance to work the middle of the field here. It was exciting when the Packers were in a third and long because you felt like the Packers had a really good chance at converting. It doesn't feel like that anymore. It feels like the Packers, every time they're in a third lawn, they're going to go conservative. And every time they're in a tough spot, they're going to go conservative. And it, the, that combined with the terrible play calling, and not to mention the horrible substitutions, which has been appalling to say the least. I mean, Aaron Jones is, I've, I've said this a million times on Twitter and on this YouTube channel, Aaron Jones is clearly the best running back on this team, and yet he's not getting even close to the kind of touches that he should be. If they used Aaron Jones more often, this offense would be a lot better than it is. But Mike McCarthy, for some reason, has this love fest with Jamal Williams, who, by the way, I actually really like. But Aaron Jones is clearly the best running back on the team, and honestly, he might be a Pro Bowl caliber running back if they would actually run him like a running back number one. But, I mean, to combine that, and of course, they don't use Mercedes Lewis for some reason. I don't know why they don't use Mercedes Lewis, that is infuriating me because you went out and got him as a free agent to do something that you were entrusting a third-string tight end to do right now. I don't know why Mercedes Lewis isn't in there more often. He's not. I hardly ever hear his name. I hardly ever see his jersey on the field. Where's Mercedes Lewis? Why isn't he playing? I don't know. Why. I really don't know why, and it's getting unbelievably frustrating at this point. Combine that with, and of course, the level of unpreparedness and the sluggish starts, and I mean... These are all common themes now, and the Packers went out and overhauled this roster and overhauled the front office, and we're still seeing the same things. Now, that's not to say, I think this team is a lot better than the past years, too, and that's the thing. When, when you overhaul a roster, when you change the front office, you change the philosophy, and you keep the head coach, and you, say, and you see the same things, well, what do you think the problem is? It's Mike McCarthy, and to me, he's out of touch. He's out of touch with his players. He's out of touch with his quarterback, his Hall of Fame quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, who has repeatedly called him out in post-game press conference subtly, not directly saying Mike McCarthy, but calling him out subtly. He's, he's mentioned numerous times that he wishes Aaron Jones would get the ball more, and he's mentioned numerous times his frustration with the offense and the game plan. The, the problem here is Mike McCarthy. And the Packers, if, can you imagine the Packers if they had a guy like Sean McVay? as their head coach, can you imagine how good they would be with a team with this much talent? It would be amazing. It would be unreal to see that team. 
Can you imagine Sean McVay getting Aaron Rodgers? I mean, Aaron Rodgers would throw for 20,000 yards and 400 touchdowns every year. It's just, he would do that every single year. I mean, you even go back, remember Tom Brady's comment a few weeks ago? He's, apparently he said um, in private that he thinks that if Aaron Rodgers had the kind of system that he has and the kind of, uh, in, in, uh, in or, within the organization, the kind of knowledge that Brady is given, he would throw for 7,000 yards every year and win the MVP every year. That's what Tom Brady said about Aaron Rodgers. And I believe it 100%. If Aaron Rodgers had the kind of institutional knowledge and system that Tom Brady has, he would be un- God- he would be godly. He would be run the table, but all the time. Can you imagine that? I mean, the things that this guy does with what he has to work with in terms of coaching and game plan is amazing. I mean, the guy just... I feel like he's, whenever he suits up, he's like, all right, better go put the team on my back again. I feel like that's his mentality coming to coming into every single game, and it leads to a lot of really magical and amazing plays. But the thing is, if you want to be a successful team, you can't rely on that every single week, and I feel like that's what Mike McCarthy is doing. And like I said, I think he's out of touch, and I think it's time for the Packers to move on. But the unfortunate thing is, is that, I don't think the Packers are going to. And it's going to take a season where the Packers miss the playoffs entirely with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback for the entire season for them to actually do something about Mike McCarthy. And that's the sad thing. I mean, the Packers aren't going to miss the playoffs this year. I really don't think they are. I think they're going to make it in as at least a wild card. And they might win the, with how bad the Vikings have looked, they might even win the division and get maybe even home field advantage. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is this team... Uh, from a coaching standpoint, isn't isn't anything close to anyone else in the NFL. I mean, you get if if the Packers get a, a one or a two seed in the playoffs this year, if they get or even a three or something, and they run into the Rams, Mike McCarthy is going to get thoroughly out coached, and the Packers are going to lose. That's what I think is going to happen. And I'm I'm those back to back games against the Rams and against New England at, on the road against two great NFL coaches and Bill Belichick and Sean McVay. The Packers are going to get thoroughly outcoached in those games, and they're going to lose. That's what I think. Unless Aaron Rodgers pulls a miracle. that That's literally what's going to happen. They're going to get thoroughly outcoached. I mean, even when the, in the playoffs, I mean, it's really been that. I mean, the Packers, you go back to right at the year right after the Super Bowl in the Giants-Packers game. Packers were 15-1. and one, Giants were the wild card. Mike McCarthy was thoroughly outcoached by Tom Coughlin in that game. And then you go back to the 2012 season where the Packers had the Colin Kaepernick game in the divisional playoff, Mike McCarthy was thoroughly outcoached by Jim Harbaugh in that game. And then you go to the 2013 game against the 49ers, and once again, Mike McCarthy was thoroughly outcoached by Jim Harbaugh in that game. And then 2014, I, I'm, I'm going to give, a, maybe not, no, I think Aaron, I think he actually was outcoached. I think Mike McCarthy was outcoached by Pete Carroll in the 2015 NFC Championship game, and I think he was outcoached by Bruce Arians in the 2016 Divisional Playoffs, and I think he was outcoached by uh, by Mike Smith in the in the NFC Championship game. I mean, it's a common theme here. He's outcoached by every single coach he runs into in the playoffs because they're just smarter and they know how to use their team correctly. Mike McCarthy doesn't. It's like watching Jason Kidd coach Bucks basketball at this point. It's like, okay, you've got Giannis Antetokounmpo. So just go do stuff and make stuff happen. That's pretty much it's pretty much the exact same scenario right now. Bucks and Packers. It's the exact same thing as what we saw last year and years and years prior with the Bucks. Mike McCarthy has just he's out of touch. He doesn't know what to do. His game plan is pretty much just let Aaron Rodgers fling it. And for that, the Packers are going to be stuck in this purgatory of mediocrity. They're going to be a it's going to be the same thing over and over and over again. And when Aaron Rodgers gets injured, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to have a mediocre quarterback, and Mike McCarthy's not going to know what to do, and the Packers are going to lose more games than they win, and it's going to be the same exact thing. That's why I think the Packers should get rid of Mike McCarthy. And it's been a long time in waiting. I mean, I've defended the guy at times. I I thought that he was a good head coach, and I mean, he might still be a good head coach. I just don't think he's really the right guy for this team at this point. I mean... The Packers need a young, innovative mind at head coach at this point. And after the season, if it's more of the same, I really, really hope that the Packers go out and do something different because at this point it's just... I expect the same thing now. I mean, I, th- I, th- I think the Packers are going to make the playoffs this year. 
I think Aaron Rodgers is just that good. And then inevitably they're going to run into a team like the Rams and or the Eagles or a team that's much better coached than them, and they're going to lose. That's just the sad reality of it. But anyways, those are my thoughts on Mike McCarthy. I want to know what you guys think, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, whether you're not the Packer, you think the Packers should eventually move on from Mike McCarthy or not. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll have my reactions out after the Packers game against Detroit this Sunday. But until then, I'll see you guys next time, and go Pack Go!